the recording process T accounts. An account is a place to account for the transactions that affect a particular asset, liability, equity, revenue, or expense item. An increase or decrease in an account is represented by a debit or a credit. In a T account, a debit simply means to the left and a credit simply means right. In accounting, they have no other meaning. So if we looked at an asset T account, if I said debit the asset account, you simply buy 100, you would simply put 100 on the left hand side of the T account. If I say credit the asset account by $100, you would simply put $100 on the right hand side of the T account. In accounting, the double entry method is used to record transactions. For every transaction recorded, the total amount of debits equals the total amount of credits. So let's remember these rules here and just memorize them throughout the semester and through your career uh, as an accounting student and eventual accountant. You'll understand and have a feel for why things are the way they are. For now, just simply memorize that the total amount of debits equals the total amount of credits. Let's take this information here, and these are dollar signs here. Let's take this information here and expand what we've learned about earlier. In our earlier lesson, we talked about assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. If we were to take, turn these into T accounts here, then we would know that each of these had a debit account or debit side. and each of these also had a credit side. Now here's the part that you need to remember. On the asset side you have plus minus, liability side minus plus minus plus for owner's equity. Plus minus minus plus minus plus. Just memorize it. Memorize these rules. Now that we have the plus and minuses down, the pluses, even though they're plus here on the debit side and a plus here on the credit side, note that the plus and minuses do have relevance. If you want to increase the amount of assets then you debit it, you plus it, decrease it, you minus it. You want to increase a liability, you plus it, decrease it, you minus it. You want to increase an owner's equity, you plus it. You want to decrease it, you minus it. So let's add a little bit of accounting jargon here. In order to increase an asset, you would debit it, if you wanted to decrease it, you would credit it. In order to increase a liability, you would credit it. If you wanted to decrease it, you would debit it. In order to increase owner's equity, you would credit it. If you wanted to decrease it, you would debit it. Welcome to college. Let's look at an example. If you purchased an asset, a building, then you would debit it because you increased your assets. If you know this equation is true and that total debits equals total credits in terms of the amount, then if you paid a million dollars for this, then you would know that you either borrowed that money from owner's equity or from liabilities. In other words, where did you get the million dollars for the building? Did you take out a bank note? 
And if you did, how much was it for? Was it for $800,000 in which you contributed $200,000 to it down. And thus, you've credited liabilities and you've credited owner's equity because this, if you recall from our previous lessons, that could be the amount of money that you placed in to the, to the company yourself. This 800 and 200,000 total up to the, to the million dollars here on the asset side because the total amount of debits equals the total amount of credits. And knowing that the plus the assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity and memorizing plus minus minus plus minus plus now you have this equation down. A million dollars is from liabilities and owner's equity. A million dollar debit on the asset side is equal to an 800,000 credit on a liability side and a $200,000 credit on the owner's equity side. If you recall, you can also expand this equation, our basic accounting equation, and say plus revenues minus expenses minus withdrawals. And each of these can also have their own T accounts with debits and credits on each side. Because revenues increases owner's equity, to increase revenues we would credit it and debit it to decrease. Expenses decreases owner's equity, so therefore an increase in expense would be debited and vice versa for credit. If the owner decided to take money out of the company, then it would decrease owner's equity and thus it's debited and vice versa credited. If you memorize it from here on out, you can easily get the T accounts and where the minus pluses and plus minus or plus minus goes for these particular T accounts, these particular nominal or temporary accounts that close out into owner's equity. So remember, asset equals liabilities plus owner's equity and plus minus, minus plus, minus plus. And from there, if you draw this out on a piece of paper during an exam, and over time it will just simply be in your head, you'll know how to speak accounting lingo. Increase in asset, debit. Increase in liabilities, credit. Increase in owner's equity, because the plus sign is on this side, credit. Where students get confused is they they recall in the you know right before the semester started in the very um, you know uh, a week or two you're already up there at, at on, on on in your college town and one of the very first things you do uh, is you deposit you know two thousand or you know some 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 amount of money from your from your uh, from your parents from the loans from the grants that you have into the bank and what does the bank tell you the bank says we've credited your account by two thousand dollars a week goes by and you write a check for two hundred dollars and what happens there to purchase books the bank tells you you've debited your account by two hundred dollars so when you think of credit you think of increasing something if you think of debit you think of decreasing something and that's what typically throws students off why would a bank say credit debit it really doesn't matter but if you insist on thinking about why well don't forget about the basic accounting equation from the point of view of the bank when you gave them two thousand dollars what happened or you deposited the two thousand dollars it's not their money it's your money and thus they owe that money to you it's a liability for them and they've credited your two thousand dollars if you take two thousand dollars uh, two hundred dollars out by spending it on books through a check they've then debited your account 
because all T accounts have a debit side and a credit side. So that's for those who insist on thinking about why. Don't. Keep it simple. And know that assets plus liabilities, I mean assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And that debits are always on the left, credits are always on the right, regardless of what asset account you're talking about or what T account you're talking about and that it's plus minus minus plus minus plus and that's it